Welcome to learning react with me. In this video, we are going to see how to create a functional component in react. This is the startup project which we have created in our first video. If you observe, app.js itself has a functional component. Of course, we can make this a class based component since we have already seen how to create a class based component in our previous video. We will focus only on the functional component in this video. I have created a file called demofunk.js in the components folder. And let's see the basic structure. Let us import React library and every functional component which will start with the keyword function followed by a function name. By convention, this is same as the name of the file. Just like JavaScript function, we define the function body here. Unlike class component which has a render method, we do not have a render method. We directly use return keyword where we specify our HTML. Let me just give a dummy HTML here. Uh, let me remove this import. In order to use this uh, demo func uh, functional component, we have to export it. And I want this function to be exported by default by this uh, JS file. So I'm using the keyword default followed by my function name or component name. And let's go to app.js. Uh, this is the one we have created in our previous video. Let me comment it out. And in order to use functional component demo func, we have to import it first. Demo func. This is the path where my functional component is present. And let me use it now. Demo func. Actually, there is another way by which we can create a functional component. Uh, let's first see how this is rendered on the screen. Yeah, this is our functional component. Now, coming to a different way of creating a functional component. Uh, we can create the same functional component using arrow function. So this is how we define an arrow function brackets followed by flower braces inside which we render our HTML similar to the function. So let me just comment it out. Save the file and since we have already imported this, let's see how it is rendered on the screen. We still see the same output. So this is how we create a functional component using a function keyword and by using arrow functions. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share and subscribe.